My dear brother. Victor. How good it is to see you. Well, thank you. And I must say, you look remarkably well, considering the fact that you've had to spend so much time in this little, what do you call it, village? Hamlet? What is the name of this place? Port Charles. Port, ah, yes, Port Charles. I should have been bored to death. Well, there was no need for you to make this journey. No need, perhaps. But I wanted to be here to share in your triumph. Well, I see. After all, the recovery of the Ice Princess is very important to the whole family, so I've come to express the gratitude and admiration of the whole house of Cassidine. I appreciate that. I see you're not alone. Oh, I would be negligent if I did come here unattended. Our guests will be here tomorrow and we should be on our way. Yes. Why so thoughtful, Tony? Our Cassidines have always looked after one another, haven't we? Indeed. But why did you have to bring your men? And why were Albert and Kimo called to the island? Oh, Mikos has his reasons. After all, it has taken a long time, you must admit, for the, uh, re to, for the search of this ice princess. Don't you agree? A few minor delays. Minor, you say? <laughs> oh, well, let's not quibble about that. The thing is that you've recovered it. So, when do we set sail? Victor. I have a feeling you are very aware of what happened here in Port Charles. Of course, of course. Well, then do not take me for a fool. Oh, I would never make that mistake. A bit foolish at times, perhaps, but never a fool. I don't like to play your game of words, Victor. To answer your question, we'll set sail as soon as we find Alexandria Quartermain in the formula. Where the hell is she? I do not know. I want you to worry now. Because everything's going to be just fine. Just fine. It is if you stay with me. Oh, honey. I'm never anywhere except with you, ever. Can mm -hmm. you feel my arms around you? Can mm -hmm. you feel them? Huh? Mm -hmm. Well, I want you to keep feeling them. Even when I'm not here. Luke. Listen. Luke. Sit down. One second. I want you to listen to me. I'm going to be okay, but I'm going to have to go. I don't want to, but I have to go. Why? Uh, well, I have to help Slick and Scorpio or something. But I'll be back like that, I swear. Okay? Where? Where are you going? Well, I'll what? tell you all about it when I get back, because we're just going to take care of this whole thing. Believe me, when I come back, when I come back here, this whole thing's gonna be over with. I've nothing to worry about. Really? You trust me? Okay. O'Reilly will be here. She'll be here with you. And I'm gonna be real fast, believe me. Okay? Be nothing to worry about. So why don't you lay down just for a second? Yeah? That's good. That's my baby. Like I said, as soon as I come back, this whole mess is gonna be over. Yeah, for some pizza. I bet you're hungry. Don't worry about it, all right? I love you. All right, let's right here, baby. Be right back. Give you put into that bag and check all those items of clothing for labels. Can't we do this any faster? I want to get back to law. Yeah. She, she's blaming herself. She thinks you've got to stop the whole thing. Yeah, creeps the whole thing. Yeah. Oh, Alex had this so well planned. What a good frame. Alex. I knew it was Alex. I knew it was Alex all the time. You bet it was Alex. She framed Laura real nicely. Yeah. Okay. No doubt about it. Alex killed this guy. Are you, wait a second, are you, are you seriously, you really think that? I not only think it, I'm sure of it, I'm sure I'm sure. Are we ready to dump this stiff or what? I want to get back to it. All right, wait a second. You're right. Time for our friend to take a sleep. Okay, now look, this is what's going to happen. Take a sleep. Take all this stuff here and the bags. 
Open the door. Yeah. Fill it full of rocks. I don't want any evidence. You got it? Luke and I will manage the body. I hope so, guys. Oh, one more thing. Yeah. Everybody keep their wits about. I'm gonna try. I don't like this. Okay. Easy. Uh, would you just please leave us? What do you mean you didn't you don't know uh, where Alex is? Precisely that, Victor. You're calm. Amazes me. Oh, does it? Or maybe I used the wrong word. Appalls me would be more accurate. I know what I'm doing, Victor. Oh, do you really? Well, forgive me if I do not appreciate that, because to me, the opposite appears to be true. You do not know what you're doing because your judgment has been blurred once again by Alexander Quatermain. That is not true. Well, then, I can only come to one conclusion. You are living in a fantasy, my dear brother. The reality is... She has double-crossed you once again. A great mistake on your part, and I refuse to accept it. Then you are indeed a fool. What else could it possibly be? She must be looking for Duval. My dear the little brother, how long has it been since she left to do just that? I tell you, she's still looking for Duval. And I tell you, with her extraordinary past, the odds have it, if what you tell me is true, she should have accomplished a task by now. I seldom gamble, Victor. Arts do not interest me. Or perhaps they should. Especially when winning or losing involves the house of Cassidine. You are gambling with it. You are taking an extreme risk with your friendship with this Alexandria Quartermain. My God, Tony, she could have taken the formula, copied it, and replaced it. Impossible. Nothing is impossible, not with Alexandria Quartermain. With all our security, with all our precaution, wasn't she the one who managed to steal the statue from us in the first place? I refuse to continue this. Ah, but I think we must. I think it is time that we all faced the consequences of your relationship with Alexandria Quartermain. You do not know that woman. I trust her. Your loyalty is misplaced. Your loyalty is only to your family, yet you persist in choosing your liaison over your loyalty to us. You cannot say that to me. Oh, yes, I can. She has single-handedly been responsible for the house of Cassidine to crumble on its foundations, all because of this stupid romantic illusion of yours. You're allowing this woman to distract you and to interfere with the business of our family. That is enough. It is not enough. It has never happened in the entire history of our family. Yet you persist in believing her lies on and on again. And on top of it, she has now disappeared along with Duval. My God, Tony, you even called off our men. You've given this Alexandria quarter mine an easy ticket out of town. I trust her, and you don't understand that. You trust her? You act like some spoiled, smitten schoolboy who's just been taken in by this scheming girl. I am not a schoolboy. And I believe I'm more in touch with the reality of the situation than you are. You don't know what other things are possible. You don't know what Duval might do. Oh, really? Yes. And exactly what could that be? He may discover that the formula is not in that statue. Do you believe that Alexandria would be that careless? No, I took the formula out of the statue myself. And if Duval was looking for it, he may have done something. He may have harmed her in some way. He might have, may have killed her. Then find out. Get the men out there and you find out. I know she'll be here. I know she'll be here. She'll come. We cannot waste any more time. Can't you understand that? She has double-crossed you once again. Victor, you are wrong. I know she will come through. Albert! Get the men in here. No, I Sir. said no. Albert, you'll do as I say, no, won't you, Tony? Or would, do you wish me to call the island to have that decision made? No, I don't think there's any need for that. Well, I will call if that will make you happy. I know you would. But we both know what the answer will be. I'm glad you know your position, Tony. Albert, call him the man. Because I'm making the decisions now, Tony. Oh, 
almost as dizzy with the rocks. Oh. 